Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. This upload will discuss the creation of both an index and a table of contents in Microsoft Word 2016 for both Windows and for Mac. Now we all know what an index is. It's an area that generally appears at the end of a document which will show me uh, where pages are and what they may contain. So examining this document that we'll be using, it's five pages. The fifth page is blank because that's where I'm going to insert our index after we've created it. And it discusses the first four planets from the Sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And there's our blank page right down the bottom. Let's go to the top of the document and see how we can create the index. The first thing that we need to understand is that Word uses something called the marking of text. And the way we do that is to double click on our heading, the main heading in our index that we want for that particular planet. And then we go to the references tab and in the index group we click mark entry. That opens up the mark index entry dialog box and you'll notice notice that when I click mark that by default Word puts uh, a uh, entry here for me we can think of it as a marker to show that that will be included in my index. Now our sub-entries for Mercury will be Geology and we need to mark the words as we add them. The next sub-entry will be Core, mark that word and finally for Mercury, Crust and mark that word. Now you'll see up the top here that there are uh, the main index entry entries for Mercury. Now I can close that and scroll down to Venus. We'll double click, double click on Venus and mark the entry there. Our sub entry for Venus will be Geology. Mark the word and finally Atmosphere. and mark that word. Now we can close that particular uh, box and there I see for Venus we've got geology and atmosphere as subheadings for the main entry in our index Venus. We won't bother about creating index entries for Earth uh, or Mars because the procedure is exactly the same. But what we do need to do is now to go to our blank page and I'm going to remove those markers by going to the Home tab and unchecking the non-printing character icon. And there I see that uh, my um, document is now nice and clean. So I'll click where I want to insert the index and I'll type index. Remember this is on a blank page at the very end. Press enter a couple of times and again go to the References tab and this time insert index because that gives me some options. I want the index in one column. I want to right align the page numbers and I want there to be tab leaders, the dots, so I can see that this is how it will appear. Now I'll click OK and let's see what happens. There is my index for the marked entries. Remember I didn't mark anything for, for Earth or Mars. Now, one thing we need to appreciate is how I can move around using the index. And I do that by going to the View tab and putting a tick in Navigation Pane here. And that opens up on the left hand side the Navigation Pane for me. And by simply clicking on any item in the index, for example, if I wanted to see something about the crust of Mercury, I click it and there it takes me exactly to that point. If I wanted to see something about the atmosphere of Venus, there it takes me immediately to it. So it's nice and quick to move around 
while you're creating your document uh, and using the index to move about. Let's close that particular um, box and this time what we're going to do is to see how I can edit the index because what I'm going to do here is to add another uh, another subheading called weight and I'm going to say here for fun uh, 1000 tons just to be a bit ridiculous what I'm going to do notice how these entries here are blue and they're a particular font size and they're a particular color the reason they're like that is that in the home tab I went through the document and by clicking in the text I was able to make them a particular heading so all I had to do was to click on whatever heading level I wanted. We'll see how important this is when we come to our table of contents. For example the planets are all heading number two. See how that became highlighted there. So now what I'm going to do is to add that to my index and to do that I need to go to the references and mark an entry and the main entry is Venus and the sub entry is weight and I'm going to mark the word weight okay there we go I can now close that and I'm going to now go down to the index itself and click on it and over here I'll say update index and there I see that Venus has now had the weight altered so it's quite simple to uh, update and index nothing difficult at all about it remember to practice these things by perhaps uh, pausing the video as you go through it uh, going back and seeing how things are done so now I'll click away I'll click on the home tab remove the non-printing characters and there is my nice clean index at the uh, end of the document okay I promised that I'd show you how to create a table of contents remember that I said that some of the text throughout had different heading levels particularly the planets which are all heading number two and the subheadings which are all heading number three so what I'm going to do now is to look at how to create a table of contents. The table of contents generally appears at the front of the document, at the top of the document. So I'm going to click the insert tab and we'll insert a blank page. That puts a blank page up above the, uh, above the um, uh, previous first page and now I can insert my table of contents and it's really very very simple I simply click where I want the table of contents uh, I'll left align everything there and I'll say references and when I click table of contents I'm given a choice of how I want the table of contents to appear I'll just choose the classic up here and there is my table of contents it's as simple as that so these later versions of Word have made the insertion of indexes and tables of contents very, very simple. One major advantage of the table of contents is that by default, Word enters links into the various pages for me. So if I wanted to read about the geology for Earth, I simply click and there it takes me directly to that particular point. So if I go to the top of the document again, and I wanted to see the asteroid built for Mars I simply click on it because there's a link there and that is directly where it takes me so I hope you've enjoyed this upload and learnt something as I said earlier particularly if you're uh, authoring a book or you're uh, writing your thesis or maybe if you just want to learn how to do things in Word for future reference thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye for now don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so and we love likes and comments cheers